John Zimmerman with Upper Creek Angler and we're working through Steve Scoots' book, Grayling Flies. In this episode, we're doing fly number 62, the Hot Spot Nymph 2. Only a few materials are going into this fly. We're going to use some bright orange thread. We'll have two different colors of dubbing, a black peacock and a, um, a UV hot orange for the hot spot at the top. Our tailing material is going to be Cartelion feathers. Let's take the thread back. The fly originally in the book calls for hook sizes of 14 and 16 for um, ease of viewing. I'm using a number 12 here with a, um, an appropriately matched bead. For the tail, I'm just going to reach in and pull off 8 to 10 um, little barbs of Cartelion feathers and tie those in. A little soft loop to round them up to the top. And like I almost always do, I like using waste to um, avoid bumps and also help out with the, um, the overall taper of a fly. So we'll come back down. And tie in our ribbing, which is going to be some red copper wire. This is size brassy. The pattern in the book calls for a um, an 0.18 millimeter. Uh, this is we don't have that construction over here and on the colonial side of the pond. Um, but I think the this will match up with the the picture. So we'll just come back down and now we'll uh, start the construction of the body of, of this fly. This is one of those patterns where um, all you would need to do is to get a little bit creative and you could come up with a, um, a big variety of patterns out of this with lots of different colors in the um, the dubbing for the body, um, use of alternate colors like pink or chartreuse hotspot dubbing for the um, the thorax, any of those would um, aid in um, you know, making this fly your own or um, varying it up a little bit if you really like the pattern. But your pet fish get overly used to it um, varying it up a little bit could help alleviate that problem I'll bring our wire forward now counter wrapping so that it doesn't dig in to what we just did Wrap in front and wrap behind. Um, I always keep a pair of worn out cheap scissors right at my hand. Come in and dub a, um, a short loop of a hot orange dubbing for our collar. And bury this thread um, between the the end of the collar and the bead in a tight whip finish. Pull down and it'll sink away. And either some head cement or super glue on a brush to and finish this off. A little much. One more time through. Pull that down. Sink the thread in the bead. This fly is done. As you can tell, super simple fly. This is number. 62, the hot spot nymph number two from Richard Ellis. Tie yourself up a bunch of these and definitely don't be afraid to experiment in any anything about this. 
tail colors, a uh, alternate color of hackle could could make this fly different. The body color, the ribbing color, and the um, the thorax color could all um, vary this fly up and make it a go-to pattern for you. Happy time.